What is up guys, Winter Kills here and welcome to an updated uh, Invoked Mech Knight deck profile post Battles of Legend. Um, we got a ton of support uh, for this sort of uh, build in Battles of Legend uh, by way of a couple of Link Monsters, Al Mirage, Cyframe Lambda, just to name some of them. And uh, this deck is definitely a lot more powerful now just because of Al Mirage. This, this card helps out the deck strategy uh, a lot. And, uh, yeah, I've got, uh, I'm playing this build a certain way, but I have a, uh, way to sort of change it out into a different build by just changing out five or six cards or so. If you do not want to play the current engine that I'm running in the main deck, I do have a way for you to sort of swap that out very easily if you do not want to play it the way that I'm playing it. Um, real quick shout out to Imperium Duelist. These are some of their newest, uh, you know, formula effects sleeves here on the main deck in pink. Uh, very very nice sleeves. They also do have non-effect sleeves um, that I showcased in a previous video of the Burning Abyss deck profile, I believe. Um, but they have tons of awesome new sleeves on their website now, and there's a sale going on as well. I think buy two one get one, buy two or more and get one free for the non-effect, and buy three or more and get one free with the effect sleeves. And uh, you can pick up mats like this, this thunderstorm playmat, which I believe is already uh, ten percent or ten dollars off right now. And you can also get ten percent off on top of that with my discount code down in the description below which you can use to save 10 percent off your entire order yeah with that being said let's go ahead and get into the profile to start uh for the monsters here three alistair the invoker uh searches your invocation for all your fusion plays then we have three mech knight purple nightfall uh easily the best mech knight still hands down uh banish it to search mech knight and it comes back during your next standby phase so very key there then we have two copies of blue sky um, basically, when he's special summoned into a column, you can add mech knights to your hand with different names up to the number of cards uh, in your opponent's, uh, that your opponent has in the column that it was summoned. So this can search up to one to two to even three sometimes cards if your opponent does not play around it. And we have two copies of Indigo Eclipse. Um, this guy comes up, and hit, uh, comes up with the uh, trap card, uh, the mech knight trap card of the World Legacy Secrets because it can revi revive a level five our higher monster out of the graveyard and then it negates any monster effect that activates in the same column as a mech knight but he has the effect where he can uh, target a mech knight monster and move it over uh to a different column even if it's in the extra monster zone so you can sort of use that as a pseudo two monster negates right there and uh yeah it's a pretty strong card overall uh decent stats and uh, the last mech knight i'm playing is just one red moon uh, i'm not doing a full on mech knight package with like another indigo or not another indigo but um like another red moon and like a yellow star um you could play the yellow star if you want if back row is more of a fear for you uh then you could play the one of yellow star i'm just going with the red moon because i like clearing uh monsters off the field uh, as opposed to back row i guess although you could just side back row removal um but that's it for the mech knights and the invoke stuff then moving on we have some hand traps um we have the side frame package which is really important to play now now that we have Cyframe Lambda, Lambda is not only a good generic link 2 that we can go into with pretty much anything, um, it also allows us to search uh, any Cyframe monster when a Psychic monster is banished face up from your field. Uh, and you can trigger that effect a couple ways, whether it be with using Purple Nightfall's effect or banishing any of your Mech Knights uh, by resolving your invocation. If you banish one of your Mech Knights from your field along with an Alistair, you can trigger the Lambda to search one of these in the end phase and to be able to use because of Lambda's effect, which allows you to use the Cyframe effect monsters um, while you control monsters. So this package is really, really strong. I was testing playing two driver. Um, but I decided to cut it back down to one just to get the deck down to 40 cards itself. So um, you could even play like two gamma and one driver if you didn't want to play a full on Cyframe package. Um, but seeing that card turn one is definitely really nice. Then we have uh, three Ash Blossom. It's a fire monster, so it is kind of important for making uh, Purgatrio and stuff, even though we already have access to cards like El Mirage so easily now. Um, but Ash is just a really phenomenal trap or a hand trap. And this is also a light as well, so it gives us uh, light fodder if we uh, if we need it to be for Mechaba. Um, but yeah, going second deck, so we do want to play quite a few hand traps. Uh, so that's it for the monster lineup. Um, Mech Knight Engine, uh, Alistair's obviously, and then some hand traps is really just the main bulk of the monsters in this deck. Um, then we have three Magical Meltdown. Um, searches out Alistair, which gets us Invocation. Now, Terraforming is at 1, so this deck kind of did get, like, low-key hit a little bit uh, because of that Terraforming hit, so we 
can't see this card as often as we'd like but it doesn't make too big of a difference in my opinion um, then we have two instant fusion or not two instant fusion three instant fusion uh, this card is really handy if you have to go either first or second um, because going first you can basically instant fusion out um, any of your instant fusion targets and uh, basically use that as an opportunity to create a column for yourself and going second you can summon some cards that will bait out opponents uh, negations like uh, thousand eyes restrict and invoke region uh, just cards that they'll have to deal with so instant fusion pretty solid card uh, two invocation uh, i don't want to play three of this i think three bricks a lot um, because there's a lot of times where you have like multiple Alice in your hand and like, a, uh, you know, uh, a magic meltdown and you just have so many ways to get to this card. Uh, it just becomes a little, uh, excessive at some point. Uh, then we have two pot of desires, uh, pot of desires. I still really like in this deck and going to continue to play it. Um, we play a lot of three ofs in here. Um, and desires can sometimes fix your hands, which is really, really important, especially when trying to go second or first, I guess. Uh, so next I'm going with the sky striker engine. Uh, my actual engages were supposed to be here today, but post office is just not really good uh, today, I guess. They're just messing everything up, so I have to make some proxies because um, I was planning to have everything I needed for this deck profile today, but lo and behold, uh, the engages are not here yet, even though they said they're supposed to be. Um, but yeah, three engage. Uh, I just think that the fact that you can search out um, your Hornet drones or afterburners so easily and possibly draw cards on top of that and it boosts consistency and allows you access to some of the most powerful cards in the game and one of the most powerful cards for this deck which is hornet drones uh, because it's basically a one card alistair uh, the invoker which is really strong and also playing the one of widow anchor and a one of afterburner um, in there as well i was gonna play uh, eagle booster um, but i think just having the opportunity to have afterburner or widow anchor in the main deck is a bit better now if you do not want to play the striker engine um, instead you could play a Shadal package uh, with just three Shadal fusions, one beast, one dragon, and one trick clown to sort of replace exactly this lineup right here. Um, but you don't, you don't have to play the trick clown technically, just like you don't have to play the afterburner or the widow anchor. You could just play the three engaged, one drone, and one other sky striker spell. I'd recommend at least playing two other sky striker spells uh, alongside the three engage. Um, so it's like a five card engine. Um, but in ca this case, to swap this exact engine out, uh, you can play a Shadal engine. I just don't like the Shadal engine as much, mainly because it, it puts the deck in a really, really diehard going second situation. Also, you could play the one construct too with that um, and sort of make some changes in the extra deck. But that sort of makes it so you um, you really diehard have to go second. Um, and, you know, because Shadal Fusion is really bad in your opening hand going first, whereas the engages and everything else, like, they just feel like they have a better purpose when going first. Um, just because you can get Horn of Drones, which can get you into sort of any link to, uh, whether it be Lambda or your Alistair, which I think is pretty good. Uh, then the last spell is here, one Book of Law, one Terraforming. Um, I still love Book of Law, and you definitely got to play the Terraforming at least at one. Uh, so yeah, that's it for the spells. Um, I believe 18 spells and 18 monsters is the current lineup. Um, and now we'll go into the traps, where we have three copies of Infinite and Permanence. Uh, like I said, going second, hand traps are needed. Um... Not a bad card to draw going first, though. It's just uh, basically a breakthrough skill. Um, and then the last card is one World Legacy Secrets. Um, I wouldn't play this if we were playing if we weren't playing Mac Knights, obviously. But since we're playing Mac Knights and we can get into uh, Morningstar easily, and sometimes having the access to get to this card by discarding an Indigo, it's just free two negates uh, next turn if you can set it up correctly. So I think it's definitely worth playing that at, at least one. That is it for the main deck. Should be about 40 cards or so. I think it is 40 cards. Uh, and now we'll start into the extra deck. And for the extra deck, we start with one Salmon Great Al Mirage. Uh, basically, you can go into this guy using any normal summon monster with a thousand or less attack. Uh, so you can use the uh, Alistair the Invoker to go right into this uh, very, very easily. Um, and just get yourself a column created, as well as giving you a down arrow uh, to fusion your uh, Mechaba or Purgatory or whatever it may be. So this card is really, really strong for this deck. Uh, one Kagari, of course, for the Sky Striker engine. Uh, to be able to go into off of the Hornet Drone, then add back the Hornet Drone and play it again to go onto either the Lambda or the Alistair, the Invoker of Madness. 
Lambda is really solid in this deck, in my opinion, mainly because it has sort of two purposes. You can either use it as a, just a generic link two with two down arrows, and for some reason you can't make Alice of the Invoker of Madness. And it also has that synergy with Purple Nightfall. Whether you banish it uh, for its effect, it'll trigger in the end phase to be able to search the gamma, or if you just resolve an invocation, you can uh, simply just banish one of your mech knights on field and that will also trigger the effect because all your mech knights are psychic monsters which is really uh, some good synergy there then we have one mech knight of the morning star uh, one nightmare phoenix uh, for back row removal and then i'm playing one black luster soldier chaos or soldier of chaos um, because we do play a lot of level seven or higher monsters in here so being able to go into this um, I, it, I think it's just a better Spectrum Supreme at the end of the day uh, because it doesn't require Mech Knight monsters, uh, at least um, you know only Mech Knight monsters. You can use a Mech Knight monster to make this, um, and it'll help give it that effect of not being able to be uh, targeted or destroyed by card effects, um, which is really, really strong. And then it has the additional effect where if it destroys something by battle, it can either gain 1500 attack, putting it up to 4,500, or it can uh, make a second attack uh, during the battle phase of your next turn, and it can banish, or it can just banish one card on the field, and that does not target. So this card can help out some pretty nasty cards uh, by banishing it and not targeting. And then the last link is one Borosaur Dragon. You could play Avermax in here. You could probably just drop this for the Avermax, but I like the, uh, the Soldier of Chaos in here because the synergy with the Mech Knights and stuff. Uh, then we have Perfusion's 1000 Eyes Restrict. Could be a Millennium Eyes Restrict. I don't own Millennium Eyes Restrict, so I've just always played 1000 Eyes. Uh, one Kaliga. Um, it's a good instant fusion target. Um, it can sort of uh, stun your opponent if you go into this uh, when you go first. It's a good going first uh, thing to make alongside of your Mechaba, especially if you open up like instant fusion and Book of Law. Um, you're able to, you know, search out Book of Law pretty easily if you're able to get into Invoker of Madness, and then opening up Instant Fusion with that play uh, can allow you to sort of change your Rage and into this alongside having your Mechaba. So when you negate that first monster effect, they cannot activate any other monster effects for the rest of the turn because of Kalaga's restriction, and you can protect it with Alistair boosting its defense up to 2800, which can be pretty hard to get over. Uh, then one Rage in, uh, two copies of Purgatrio because um, you can pretty much OTK a lot easier with this deck now because... Like, you have really easy access to a lot of fire monsters with this build with Almirage and Kagari. Um, so you can just go into Purgatrio and then use um, your Invoker of Madness to add Book of Law. Swing for a lot of damage. And then if you don't end up killing them, just grab Book of Law and changing this out into one of your uh, Mechabas. Uh, basically, just to sort of steal the game. And, of course, still playing the two Mechaba here at the end. Um, could play three Mechaba. It's just never came up for me ever and still hasn't uh, as long as I've been playing this deck. So um, I don't think it's needed. Could you play it? Of course. Uh, if you don't want to play, like, uh, Ragin' or whatever, you don't have to. Also, one thing I want to mention before we wrap this up is that uh, I know Super Poly is not in the main deck. Um, I... I know it's at three now, and I was playing, I think, maybe two in the previous builds, but um, with adding in the side frame package and the striker engine, like, I just couldn't find room for this card, and I feel like sometimes against some matchup, this card can be a huge brick, and I would just rather side it uh, against some other decks, and uh, these are the cards that I would side into the extra deck along with it. Um, are cards like Starving Venom, Fusion Dragon, and Mud Dragon of the Swamp. I feel like these are some of the better uh, Super Poly targets to go along with this. I also only own one Super Poly right now. Um, I'm trying to get my hands on a second one, um, so that'll probably happen sometime in the future. But I think for now, I would probably just side the Super Polys in, uh, going second against like Salmon Great uh, and Thunder decks and Dark decks or whatever decks that would just Super Poly would be good against. Um, but keeping it out of the main deck right now, just because I feel like for the most part. Uh, not entirely needed. It might be a little bit too overkill. Um, you could play like maybe a 45 card build or even a 50 card build with like called buys and super polys and all that stuff. But just trying to keep it simple uh, this time around for this build. So yeah, just wanted to mention that. Also throw a picture of what the, my side deck currently looks like for this deck uh, down below. Um, but yeah, that's it for this deck profile. Hope you guys enjoyed. You're going to be trying to get some duels and test hands and etc, etc. All that good stuff out to you guys very soon. And uh, yeah, very excited to have this deck now and uh, play it with all the new support like Lambda, BLS, and uh, Almirage, just because these two cards go so well together um, for this deck strategy. So that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, we're going to kill Sen out. We'll see you in the next one.